Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. This is getting kind of nuts, right? Because it's just insane the amount of cards here. Oh, it is Funko Pops. Whoa, there's a lot of Funko Pops. What is this? Okay, this looks good though. What does this do? These guys are funny. They bought so many just gimmicky stuff. Previously on Locker Nuts, I paid over $1,100 for this locker and I thought I had overpaid a bit. That opinion quickly changed as I found a gold mine of nerd collectibles, including Star Wars, ukuleles, Pokemon, and a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh. In fact, there's more Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh than I've ever found in lockers I've previously bought combined. We're down to just several boxes left to explore and hopefully they contain more surprises. Let's find out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. What? This is crazy. Okay, wait. <laughs> Gotta send it. Crazy. Okay, I just had to send a couple texts real quick to share this. This is just incredible. Um, yep. Pokemon. My goodness, guys, I think this is, there's Charmeleon, Charmeleon, I think that's a good one, too. What? Charmander? Do you guys know this stuff? I think this is good. I think this is really, really, really good. I'm going to need somebody who knows their Pokemon to take a look at this. Kind of funny, I found, I had found a um, binder years ago, years ago. Before we were doing videos, before we are doing live auctions, before any of that kind of stuff. And um, it got put into, there's some matches, it got put into my kids' school supplies, like where like binders of paper was. And when I was cleaning out the garage, I came across it, just like, okay, let's sell some of these reams of paper that we haven't used in several years. And I've come across that binder and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I forgot about this. So here's some, look, you can see that these are definitely more worn. See the top of that one? That's like what we normally find. Maybe there's just a couple in here that are that worn, but there's more um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So uh, put that put that binder aside, and then our friend Joel came over. He's like, oh, I like Pokemon. I'm like, oh, I got something you want to take a look at? He's like, oh, sure. And he looked at it, and he's like, um, this is really good. And I'm like, you think? And he's like, yeah, this is like really good. And I'm like, do you know your stuff? And he's like, I do, I, I do. And I'm like, well, I don't. So I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Let's look some up. And he pulls out, he looks a few up and we're like, whoa, we really do have some good ones. Sure enough, we took that binder. We cut the pages out. We're selling one page of like nine cards. We're getting upwards of $1,000 per page. It, it really was the good stuff. Joel knew it right away. Uh, we had no clue. We thought it was good. <laughs> we didn't know. So here's some young Jedi Star Wars cards here. This is something a little different. A little different in a Pokemon box. Not as impressed with that, obviously. Okay, there's some poppets, a little more. This is fireworks. <laughs> Makeup. Oh, this is so cool. Look at these little card binders. Who knows, those might be something good. Intercept. This is blue light uh, lenses, I think. So yeah, maybe I'll have Joel take a look at these and tell us if we got the good stuff. If he's got time, I don't know. No rush. This kind of stuff will sit on for a long time if we have to. There's some more Pokemon, guys. What the heck? Mmm. They all look good to me, so I don't know. They don't. These don't look as old. The other stuff we had in the binder that was some, you know, that I found years ago. That really was old stuff. That was the that was the real deal. That was like the good stuff you want to find. Okay, this is some sort of controller here, and I kind of think, kind of think this is an Xbox controller, and maybe Xbox One. Hmm, it's Pokemon though, so. Okay, Pokemon box with Yu-Gi-Oh. Pokemon box with Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Pokemon box with not very much in here. One card and that's a stinking Charizard. But it's all it's all been up. It's too bad. There's a Charizard pin and some little counters. Okay, empty boxes, instruction books, rubber band, Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, this is nice. Really nice little set right here. It's got some dice in there. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Very nice. I like that. There's more Pokemon. Oh my goodness, guys. Rillaboom. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, guys, if you are wanting to buy some of these, no, I won't do a deal to sell it direct. I'm not going to do that with this kind of stuff. It's too much potential uh, to have some really big cards here. So, um, what we may do, if we do anything, what we may do is put all this in like a whatnot and just start selling off like small quantities at a time. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. That's, that's a novelty. It's kind of neat. Lollipops. Stickers. That's cool. Erasers. Okay. Oh boy. Pokemon pencil. And look at this at the bottom. It's getting a little crinkled up, but there's one of those large cards with Charizard and Braxen. And it's Pokemon notepad paper. Pretty awesome. <laughs> so much more. Get us some sleeves. There's sleeves. Sleeves. What's this? It's got some weight to it. Okay. Sleeves, sleeves, sleeves. I think this is all sleeves in here. Brand new sleeves, okay. There's a Charmander card just hanging out in the middle of all the other stuff. It's kind of funny. And I think that's another Pokemon pin right there. Wow. Hmm. Okay, more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. More. Okay, guys, uh, this is getting kind of nuts, right? Because it's just insane the amount of cards here. Mostly Yu-Gi-Oh. This, though, is not. This is some Pokemon. I don't even know how much more to show of this stuff. Crazy. Okay, there's another Yu-Gi-Oh box. I think it's empty. Gunner. Oh, gaming and computer eyewear. I wouldn't be surprised if that was that glasses that we found I'll put it back in there after oh there's a nice silicon for a game controller and razor there's a little thing for those razor controllers starting to find the pieces starting to match up a little bit a little bit do we look in this it starts to all look the same after a while slight oh my goodness more pokemon <laughs> okay what's this Come on, this is brand new sealed Pokemon. Oh, Sun and Moon Forbidden Light. Let's look that up. Sealed packs. Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. They don't look super old, but Celestial Storm. Hey, there's some sealed packs here too. Sun and Moon. Great. 2018. Okay, it's like, that's like five years old now. It's crazy. Another fantastic box. All right, guys. Um, that one was a little high, so I grabbed the one below it. I'm not. I'm not putting it off. Okay, maybe I am a little bit, but um, this was just easier to grab because of how tall those were stacked. It says bathroom, and that's what it looks like. Jeez, more medicine. I've had a quite a fair amount of medicine already. Okay, plush paper. Plush, you can flush. That's what it says. All right, I think that's Kleenex, but put it aside. And here's some toilet paper. Obviously, I don't sell that, right? Actually, surprisingly, we don't find it very often either. What is that? Some kind of laser thing, I think. Flex shot. Thick rubber adhesive sealant. Huh, it's like caulking. Maybe I put that aside. 
Gillette Fusion 5 razors. Razors are expensive, guys. Alright, put that aside. Not like I do much shaving, though. Um, oh my goodness. Darth Vader Nightlight. Cool. <laughs> so cool. A little bit of toothpaste. Keep that. Face wash. This is good. This is some brand new Pantene shampoo. Yeah. This is probably the same thing right there. Brand new. Might be able to use that at home. There's some Dove uh, soap right there. Brand new. I don't know if we'll use that though. Body cream. These are brand new right here. Icy Hots. Large patches. Put those aside. Oh, nice. Little hand sanitizer. Good. Good, 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 good. Shower gel. Hand sanitizer. Old balm. Cactus blossom. Alright, I need some of this, so. <laughs> I keep using it. It's good. Yeah. Let's get this one. Let's get into it. it says kitchen. Yep, it is. Hmm, that's a nice pan right there. Bioletti. Bioletti. Yeah, I mean, it's got some, a little bit of scrapes around the edges there, so maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I can see even their Tupperware's got Star Wars theme on it. It's funny. Therm Pro. Oh, a little timer. Keep that. It looks like it's for a neutral bullet. Hopefully, we we'll find that. There's another one. Oh, that's cute. Paperware. Nice little. Nice little pan. Creatine. What's this? Oh, guys, this is great. Look at this. A little coffee. That's great. I'm almost out at home. I got my Keurig at home. Found it in the locker. And I am almost out of those. Good find. Aladdin cup right here. Hmm. That's cool. Looks brand new. Hmm. Put that aside. Vinegar. A1. It's a nice ice cream scooper. Okay. Next one is the Funko Pops. Well, I'm, it says Pops, all right? Yes, I am <laughs> assuming that means Funko Pops because they have had a Oh, it is Funko Pops. Whoa, there's a lot of Funko Pops. There's a little plush. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's a ton. Okay, wait. I was thinking these are going to be empty. It's not empty. Piccolo. Oh, that's a Dragon Ball Z. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. There's a Boba Fett. That is a Funko Pop. Look at all these Funko Pops. That's a Funko? Yeah, 2017. It's like diecast, so it's also very dusty. It's been displayed. Dragon Ball Z. Krillin. Definitely I found that guy before because I remember that name. There's a Mandalorian. Nice. Star Wars Mandalorian. IG-11. Nice. The Inquisitor. There's a, dust, a layer of dust on these two. I think they displayed the boxes. Cad Bane. That guy was so cool in the... in the. Wait, was it Mandalorian? No, I think he was in Boba Fett or something. Such a cool character. Nice. Fighter pilot with TIE Fighter. Let's see. It's another Funko. Kylo Ren. That's cool. Jeez, guys, there are a ton in here. Star Wars. Looks like they put him back in backwards or something. I don't know. General Leah. So many Star Wars. The child with frog and the child with cup. <laughs> okay, look at all these guys. It's a little one. It's a Funko right there. Mace Windu. Santa Yoda. It's another Darth, uh, what's the name? Kylo Ren. Oh, that's cool. That's from the Boba Fett. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Mandalorian. That's a nice one. I said that about all of them. And I meant it. I meant every word. They're all nice. Neomoidian Weapon Attack. Star Wars. Revenge of the Sith. There's another one. Medic. It's a Darth Vader. It's a uh, Christmas one with the candy cane. Yeah. Okay, this is a Dragon Ball. Nope, Star Wars Rebels. Captain Rex. Oh my goodness, guys. There's the Hulk. The present. There's another Christmas-themed one. Um, wow. Okay, I thought these were going to be empties. 
There's a lot of loose figures. Where's the boxes for those? These are awesome. Lorraine, Atomic Blonde. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Blue Eyes White Dragon. We found like 30, 40, 50 of those cards. There's another Dragon Ball Z, Raditz. Hulk. There's a Gold Hulk. Baze Malbus from Rogue One. What's that? Black Manta from Aquaman. There's Darth Maul. Another Dragon Ball Z, Nappa. And another Yu-Gi-Oh! Blue Eyes White Dragon, another one. Dragon Ball Z and Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Panther and Young Anakin Skywalker. Hot dang, this is good stuff, guys. Really, really good. Okay, guys, next box. And this is kitchen, this is kitchen. This is not doesn't say anything. So, oh, oh is this a collectible? Collectible. I'm not sure what this is. Um, so kitchen, kitchen, that might be collectibles there, but kitchen is not likely. But what? What is this? Okay, this looks good though. There's Thanos' glove. <laughs> what is that supposed to do? It's supposed to do something, there's batteries there. Let's change the batteries. I have a feeling that you, it's supposed to do like a, a noise when you punch something. That's cool. Huh, a little delayed reaction there. Huh, weird. I don't know. I don't know. There's another little tin mailbox. I found one earlier, very early, from uh, Minions. Souvenir penny, flattened penny. Whoops. So the car. Oh, goodbye. Uh, he was, I think he or she was a teacher, so that must be for the, when he stopped teaching. Oh, Honda. Honda branded cap there. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Huh. Is that got candy in it? What does this do? These guys are funny. They bought so many gimmicky stuff. Screen Doctor Professional. Streak-free screen cleaning. A little microfiber in there. Okay. A little Darth Vader lamp. Right? Batteries must be dead. I don't know. What should I do with that? I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. A little gold Batman. I like it. It's another Fitbit band. Shoelaces. Boot laces. Oh, there's another keychain. Superman, 300, movie, it's in there, nice duct tape there, okay, that's too bad, that is uh, not in here, wait, no, that's too big, it's a Star Wars keyboard, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, there's a Wookiee here, howdy, hello, how are you, where are you going, here? No, yeah, here. Oh, yeah, here, let me move some of the stuff. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I understand. That's no problem. I, <laughs> I definitely spread out here. <laughs> last week, too, I mean, two, three weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no worries. All right. You too. Oh, little Lego set here. Oh boy, okay, I was, ooh, look at this floating around. Pikachu, 2001? Wow, that could actually have some value. Uh, so I was pulling everything out of here, but now I'm not sure I want to do that. There's a lot of little parts and stuff in here. Ooh, that's cool, look at this. There's another Dragon Ball Z, little figurine. Look at this stuff. What are these supposed to do? Hmm. Don't know. That looks like a Funko Pop, and that is a Gremlin. Oh, okay, so this right here. Gunner, Gunner. Huh. It's kind of scratched up, though. Came out of that box, so I'll put it back in there. It's got some cool stuff in here. 
keyboard might. Oh, this is Black Widow. Wait a second. Counter Logic Gaming right there. And this is Black Widow Razor right there. What the heck? Black Widow Razor was the Star Wars thing I thought. I don't know. It seems to be decent stuff. What's this guy? I think it's candy. I sure would rather it be money. Oh my goodness. Is that candy? Bobblehead tin bank. <laughs> mm, nothing in it. Oh yeah, here. That was same uh, Black Widow, but this is a Black Widow light. That's the full size one. So um, I'm just gonna put all this stuff back in here. Wait, what was this? I got distracted because that guy came. <laughs> uh, it's a little headset. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, three more boxes to go. And two of them say kitchen, so uh, not too much more chances here, I would say, for some good stuff. So maybe it'll go a little quicker, and that would be good because I do need to wrap this up pretty soon. Oh, look at that. There's a Keurig right there. Nice. Star Wars. <laughs> How funny. That is um, to go with those little, I said they look like neutral bullet. It's a little blender, but it goes with those little self, you know, whatever, self-serving ones, self-serve ones. Pam. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, I'm just uh, debating whether I should keep that or not. What's this? Ross. I don't know how much that was. It's a crystal bowl. It's kind of cool. And what's this? Vader. That's to go with the blender. It's funny. So cheesy, though. So there's there's uh, some Verda filters. It's cool. And man, look at this. Syntha 6 cookies and cream. This is protein powder. That is sealed brand new right here. Wow, hardly any sugar in there. Hmm. I might actually put this aside, guys. That is sealed brand new. When does it expire? Two of 23. That's right now. Which means it's not expired. Okay, let's take a look at this. That looks exactly like the one I am using currently in my garage, aka office, only that one's red. What's this? Oh, cool. I know what that is. That's one of these. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I could use it. Okay, hey, next one. Ah, that one's his kitchen there too. Dang. Well, I definitely feel like they had more stuff somewhere because a lot of those Funko Pops were out of the box. Found a few more empty boxes, but I don't. I don't think we found the fun Funkos to go with them. I get the feeling like they had a lot more Funkos somewhere else. All right. So what about here? That's cool. Oh, chopsticks. There's some chopsticks there, too. I usually keep the nicer chopsticks. Ooh, look at that. There's an R2-D2 Pez in there. It's a cheap one, but I'll, I'll put it aside. Vega Sport Protein Chocolate. That one's been open, so I'm not going to keep that one. But I like what I'm seeing here, guys. This right here, Ziploc bags, sandwich size. Oh, emergency. This right here, keep that. I use that constantly. This is brand new right here. Emergency. More Ziplocs. What is this? Oh, okay. It's a diffuser. It smells pretty good, too. It's cool. Dusty, but cool. Put that aside. <laughs> I put it aside. Some fettuccine. Some good sponges. Trash bags. Oh, that's nice. KitchenAid, no wonder. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, guys, this one is heavy. And I see why. It's got canned foods in it. Hmm. Look at this thing. Tequila. Hmm. It's a tequila bottle. Wow. It's fancy. And look at this. Organic raw honey. That's brand new honey. Spam. November 2024. <laughs> okay. This Starbucks mug right here. 
That's a nice one. Hmm. Ah, it was open. Too bad. I would have kept that. Um. Okay, guys. Well, I just like to look through here and just see if there's anything that I will use. You know, for example. Oh. Oh no. Love you more. That's nice. You know. I like all the canned olives. I don't know if I'll eat that spam, but I'm gonna put it aside. Decide later. Okay. Well, guys, that about does it. Ho, 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 ho. Man. Okay, I've got a lot to clean up here. Let's just pan around here. I'm sure you guys have been seeing it, but this is all keeper stuff. That's keeper stuff. Half of that's keeper, half of that goes straight to the market. The chair, I might actually use the chair for a while. I kind of like to mix it up on my back. And, ah, uh, okay, not bad. Not bad. I was really hoping for just a little bit more collectibles at the end there, but three things a kitchen in a row. Did find some stuff I'll keep. That's worth some money to me. The rest of this, um, the fridge is, is cool. Jan was like, we could post that online and sell it super quick. It's such a neat fridge. Probably get 100 or 200 bucks for that. If they sell for 800 on Amazon, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll list for 150 you know, just because I like to move stuff quick. These little, this right here, I think it's, I think that's for a table, like table legs. I don't know. This thing, this is just stocked and stuff at this point. It's stocked and stuff. The lightsabers are kind of grody, right? They got that stuff. So go straight to Stockton with it. Stockton, garbage, gar uh, Stockton. So <laughs> uh, I realized I've been here for quite a while and I haven't eaten, but at least I had that Red Bull and those nuts I found in here. So got a little, little bit of locker food challenge. That's always fun. Man, you guys, what a surprise. This was a fantastic locker. Fantastic locker. This will definitely go down as one that I remember. The Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Funko Pops and just all the Star Wars stuff. Great locker. Great locker. $1,000. I I have no clue what we're going to make on this, but I'm thinking at least a couple thousand dollars on it. At least a couple thousand profit on this. So meaning we'll sell 3000 Plus, if any of those cards are really good, then we're talking another stratosphere like this. Charizards, if those are good cards, and I send them in for grading or whatever, we're talking, who knows, hundreds of dollars per card maybe? This could be even potentially a lot bigger than I think it is, but I know it's good. And I know you guys are here with me to go through it and surprise and fun. I hope you had fun. I did, all right? And yeah, now this has got me charged up. 2023 is on, baby. It might be February 10th, but it's just starting out for me. I'm going to be buying this year. And we're going to be buying, buying, buying. Oops. Turn my AirPods. I put my AirPods on. I listen to a little music on Spotify. Got the phone in my pocket. And that's kind of nice for when I'm going through stuff off camera. Just stay a little entertained. Keeps me going at a little faster pace. Listen to some good upbeat music, too. So, anyways, guys, that's a wrap. And, uh... Good, good, good. Well, now I got to move the stuff, so it's not a wrap for me. It's a wrap for you. The fun's over, and uh, now a little bit more hard work, but so worth it. So worth it. All right, we'll be back hopefully soon buying the next locker. Actually, there was one today I wanted to bid on. Oopsie, forgot about that. Oh well, there'll be more. There's always more. There's always more. All right, um, we'll be back soon, guys. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Okay, all right. I see Steve Young right there. What's this? Got football. Brent Jones, number 84, 49ers. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Love that. That's a live ink signature right there. That's good. 